All right, welcome to day, I don't even know, probably 151 or two of becoming UFC champion. So uh, we're sort of back, but not really at the same time, as in I'm still sick, but uh, I couldn't take it anymore, wasting my life, wasting my time, not training. Um, so we're here in Jerusalem and we're going to be hitting some gym sessions. We might not be able to do our MMA sessions, but... <coughs> Lifting weights and staying on weight is something that I need to do. And I should have been doing in Katrin, but obviously I can't film there really, so I, you know, just kind of put off the idea of going to that gym. And I'm going to cancel it soon, but haven't really had the chance to. So we're still here. We're trying out the new gym. I can actually zoom in a little bit. But yeah, so let's write it down. Number one is going to the gym, and we're going to probably hit the bag too and do some mobility training and stuff. Um, I don't think we can do any like muscle endurance training because that'll get me coughing a bunch. But um, we'll do we'll do kind of like normal bodybuilding. We'll probably do like compound movements like squats, bench press, and you know deadlifts, things like that. We'll see what we can do. Um, we'll probably do some lower back strengthening exercises, some ankle mobility stuff, and that'll be in the beginning of the workout. And then from there, after we finish our lift, we'll go to the jujitsu slash MMA section of the gym, which is just so cool to have. I can't believe that. Like, it's, it's even better than the MMA gym itself, so it's, it's so sick. And then we'll go there, and we'll do some just punching the bag, and I'm okay with coughing like crazy at the end of the workout. <coughs> <coughs> I brought all my gear, you know, the gloves, the leg gear, whatever, so in case we see someone there who we want to spar, maybe? I don't know. Um, and I don't even know if I'll bring all the gear. I'll probably just pack a small bag with the gloves in them, the MMA gloves, and just call it there. I think they only have one bag there, but it's cool. I'm really going there for uh, the mobility training. Like I'm gonna work on my handstands, my splits, and it's just the best place for that. Such a great gym, so I'm excited to go try it out. Um, so as we said, gym number one, um, lower back and ankle training. I don't really know what I'll do, but it'll probably be some good mornings, and some shit like that, some, we'll see. And then we'll do compound lifts, maybe like standing shoulder press, uh, pull-ups, things like that to stay on weight because I did go down by five pounds. I'm like 135 right now. It's pretty crazy. <coughs> and um, the sickness that I have, that I had, also suppressed my like hunger. So I like definitely lost a lot of weight. But um, now all I have is bronchitis. So that's an improvement. Yeah, I guess I haven't told you guys what I have. I think I'm pretty sure I have bronchitis, which is more in the lungs and the airways. There's mucus that builds up that gives a tickle and makes you cough type shit. So not the best thing in the world, but not the worst. I could definitely be in a worse situation. And so can all of we. So can all of we. So can all of us. So it's all good. Um, and then we'll do movement training like Connor. And then we'll just do bag work. So what I've got written down, lower back and ankle training for number one. Number two, compound lifts, movement training, and then bag work. That is the plan in the gym. It's been a while since we've been in the gym. It's been a solid probably two, three weeks or four. I don't even know exactly for sure, but pretty crazy. But yeah, other than the gym, I don't know what we'll be doing out here in Jerusalem. Um, I guess just getting used to the area, uh, learning where things are, learning how to navigate the city better is, uh, is very important. So uh, we'll definitely be doing a lot of that. Um, yeah, I don't really know what we'll be doing here. i will just be making the best videos I can. Uh, we'll probably spend a lot of the day in the gym just because uh, I like it there. It's like a good vibe. I mean, I haven't been there, but it looks like a good vibe. So going based off what I saw, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can cram our day with when it comes to work. We'll probably make some shorts. I'll sit right here and just talk to the camera about some videos I have planned and uh, get some viral videos. Bro, we've been going absolutely insane on the shorts. I'll put up some screenshots. We've got multiple videos doing like hundreds of thousands of views in the short form space. And it's just awesome to see like my you know, my, my theme and my style of videos is performing extremely well uh, on a consistent basis. And that's one of those things that YouTubers struggle with all the time. It's like, what am I gonna post? Now that I know what I'm posting and the videos are performing better than ever, like it's very motivating. And uh, I mean, obviously the subscribers don't lie. We're sitting at like 26,000 right now almost, which is just bonkers. Or we might already be at 26,000, I don't know. Yeah, we are, okay, okay. I just, I just completely forgot about a thousand of you guys. I'm sorry. No, I'm kidding. But yeah. So what did I have for breakfast today? Good question. Number one, I had these pancakes that my grandma made. 
Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm at my grandparents' house. I forgot to tell you guys. This is my grandparents' house. I'm staying here Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Wednesday I go back home. So uh, they're very generous and uh, they're awesome letting me stay here. You guys wanna see something crazy? <coughs> this is the first Rubik's Cube I ever solved. This thing is a 30-year-old Russian cube. It moves like a tree trunk, like if you get what I'm saying. But um, yeah, I learned how to solve a Rubik's Cube on this thing and then my grandpa went and bought me a uh, normal Rubik's Cube, like the branded one, which was also pretty sh terrible, but it was, for, for what it was, it was good. It was much better than this one um, when it comes to speed of being able to move it. And then from there, I went on and got speed cubes and joined competitions and all that stuff back in the day. Back in my day. Anyways, let's give this a solve. <laughs> like the, it's so weird how the colors just kind of blend in. The yellow and the white are basically the same thing. It's, it's kind of awful, but it's 30 years old. I'm not blaming it. It's like the oldest Rubik's Cube in the world right now, probably. That's still operable. So old. But let's get it done. Here, 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 here. Ooh, we got a little nice OLO we could easily go for. This, 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 this. There we go. And that is the Rubik's Cube that I learned on. I had these Russian papers. It was so crazy, bro. I had Russian like papers that my grandpa printed out and he just fucking gave them to me and I learned how to solve a cube. <coughs> <coughs> so that's that. So yeah, I'm at my grandparents' house. I'm trying to train as much as I can. Uh, hopefully we'll feel better in the next few days and I might be able to even do some MMA training. That's just like best case scenario so that I can uh, you know, use my time here as effective as possible, but I'm gonna let myself heal and see how I feel. Enough talk, let's fight. All right, welcome to the new gym. So, jujitsu area is low key off limits to most people. So I'm fighting to find a way to get into there, but <coughs> still have a punching bag here. And uh, there's this like ninja warrior area, which I could show you, which is pretty cool right here. So we could do some gymnastic stuff. <coughs> some George St. Pierre type training. But right now, I'm just doing some deadlifts. Second set, about to wait up a little bit. fuck happened? Why'd it get so bright? All right, I'll do one more set, just cause, but this isn't the type of workout I should be doing right now. It's like straightening the body like this is not right. I should be doing things, hypertrophy movements, just to stay at weight, but fuck it. I like deadlifting so much, so you gotta do what you gotta do a little bit. <sighs> Ugh. <sighs> 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 
move to something else. All right, so I decided to move to tricep push downs like this. I haven't done these in a while, but they're good for building triceps. So I'm thinking four, five, six sets maybe, depending on how bored I get. Heavy. Heavy. That's good. I'm thinking we'll do three more of those and then we'll move to something back related. Maybe we'll do some, some pull downs. We'll see. Not really sure. This is an interesting gym. It's very interesting. All right, set number two. We start off at the 15 kilos and drop down to 10. This is like a heavy ass fucking stack. That's good. Two more. Round three. Here we go. Yeah. That was good. Um, I think we're done with tricep push downs. Now let's do something chest related. I think normal bench will be great. All right, here we go. We found a nice looking bench. Let's do some hypertrophy repetitions. Start with a little warm up though. What is this thing? This place is weird. 20 kilo bar. Feels good. Let's go for 10 on each side first. Is that what these are? Yeah, these are 10s. <coughs> I can't really hit a top set because I don't have a spot or anything. I'm literally actually alone in this gym right now, which is kind of cool, but here we go. Make sure the mic isn't being gay. There we go, that was good. 10 reps with the 10 kilos. Um, we got decently weaker, but it'll come back to us. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Why did I have to get sick, bruh? Everything happens for a reason, right? Right, chat? All right, we'll do, uh, fuck it, three more. I like this. All right, set number two. getting 14, 15 there, which is better. So maybe we could bring up the weight. <coughs> All right, we moved to some incline bench. This is a good one, it looks good. Where are the 10 kilos? So here's the thing, you guys. I did all my lower back training and my foot mobility off camera, because I feel like that shit's pretty boring. But uh, at the end of the day, it was 
you know, those static holds for lower back along with some reps. And then for the ankle mobility shit, I haven't really finished yet, but so far I've done elephant walks and like a calf stretch slash ankle stretch, I guess you could say. All right, let's hit the set regardless. Moto Futuro is a little bit frightening. Just a little bit here. Should we do now one more maybe yeah my chest needs a little bit more of a burn i think we should do some sort of pec flies or cable flies something to really burn the chest and this gym has a good one so let's put these weights back and go do that Needs to be heavier. Maybe 20. Only a little bit more. Because I'm fatiguing now. Pumped. Let's do one more. done with chest I think let me show you guys the jiu-jitsu section so there's an area which is not permitted for me to enter for anyone to enter except for the people in the jiu-jitsu class but I mean look at this place if we could get in here and fuck around with that thing oh my god think about the handstand walks we could do across this thing this place is sick but we only have access to that over there which is not horrible, but it's nowhere near these mats. I think we should get into the uh, coffee part of this workout. We'll start with doing handstands on the bag. This 
is a very heavy resistance <coughs> bed. <coughs> socks off get a real workout going I'm fatigued as fuck, but fuck it. Keep going. Oy. Oy. All right, before we end things off, I'm gonna do a little bit more handstand work and then we'll just go to the outro. I wonder what other kind of mobility I should train. There's not a lot of good room to do it here. In the jiu-jitsu place there is, but we can't really go there yet. I don't really know if it's allowed to pose in here, but like really quickly. Post gym, post training talks. Now, so how was the training? I would say it was pretty good. Why the fuck am I so tall or so short? More like. So yeah, training was good. Um, for a sick man who has not been in the gym for three weeks, I would say that was the best we could get. Um, <coughs> you know, it would be way cooler if we could go into the jiu-jitsu section where they literally have a bob bag, which is a body uh, something bag. I don't even know what you call it, but those, you know, human looking bags, that'd be really cool. And those things are fucking fire. You know, you can work on your liver shots. You can work on hitting the chin with accuracy. It's not just hitting a bag. It's different. So uh, yeah, 
that was pretty cool, but I couldn't, you know, do it, which sucks. But we're we're working on it. We're 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 negotiating here. I'm talking to them, seeing what we maybe be able to do. Um, but other than that, we punched the bag. We went as hard as we can for a guy with bronchitis who hasn't trained in like three weeks and needs to get back into his fucking prime. You know, trained pretty damn good for that. I'd say number one in the world at being a sick trainer. That's for sure. Nah, but yeah, so that was training. Um, that's basically the um, main part of this vlog. Other than that, I'm just going to talk to you guys and finish the video off. So what have I been doing since I've been sick? Well, for one, I've just been planning my comeback, planning what I'm going to do, um, which is, you know, partially coming to Jerusalem, that's part of what I've been planning and, and you know, training and, and enjoying this gym and stuff. I've just been uh, been in the works, been been in the lab thinking of what I'm gonna do, what the plan is for the next few months. Um, because this YouTube thing is a business and I treat it like it. So, just making business moves, as cliche as it sounds. But, other than that, I've just been trying to chill. Um, trying to chill, meaning trying not to train because I want to train so bad, but it gets me coughing like crazy and it's no good. But now I'm just like, I can't, there's, there's, a, there's no return. I'm at the point of no return. I have to train. I'm not going to take another day in which I am not working out. I just have to. You know, I was getting skinnier. I lost weight. You know, I'm not skinny per se, but I am... I weigh less than I was before I was sick. You know, I was 140 kilo, no, not 140 kilos, that'd be crazy. 140 pounds lean, which is fire. 145 actually, almost. 143-ish lean, and now I'm at 135-ish. Actually, I haven't weighed myself, but I might be climbing back up now. Plus, I started taking creatine again as a daily sup, which will fill my muscles with water and add some, you know, muscle mass technically so we'll get back up there pretty soon um, I believe that so we started the workout by doing these Leon Edwards deadlifts is what I call them um, and they're flipping amazing they're great um, we hit I think three sets of those and then we moved to doing I think it was either bench or tricep pushdowns I think we did the tricep pushdowns first and we did three sets of those um, just you know getting a nice pump in the triceps and then from there we went on to do bench press we did I think two sets of bench and then we did uh, one set of incline and then two more sets of cable flies um, drop setted with a or not drop setted but coupled with like you know when you drop down and do the shit that I did I don't even know what you call it I think it, it's not a drop set it's a Superset, that's the word, superset. So we did that, and then from there, it was punching the bag, um, working on my handstands and shit like that. But it was pretty good. It was a great fucking, it was a great fucking workout. I'm happy with it. It, was, it went fire. What would I do differently? I would kind of characterize my days into a push-pull legs split. I know, it's weird. Um, but because I'm sick and because I'm just trying to stay on weight and not, you know what I'm saying, lose muscle mass and shit, I should, you know, train like a bodybuilder, really, um, just for this recovery period. And then from there, we could go to doing, like, full body shit and, like, gymnastic shit and, like, you know. I mean, maybe, maybe the push-pull legs is still a good thing, even for, you know, when you're training for athleticism and strength. But... I don't prefer doing just a leg day. I don't think it's very good for me. I don't enjoy it. So I think, well, I'll have to see. I'll have to see what I think of. I'll have to sell up to, you know, do some research on what plans I could do, what type of splits I can do. But for now, as we're healing, I think we're going to stick to a little push pull legs. Um, today was a push day, obviously. We did our tricep pushes, our cable flies, and our bench press, and our incline press, which was 
really the, the main thing of what we did. And then we did some bag work afterwards. There's always got to be some bag work. You know what I'm saying? We are fighters. So we fucking hit the bag. Who's we? I don't know. I'm schizophrenic, bro. But yeah, I hit the bag, of course. Now I'm back home. I just finished eating. Bro, Babushka cooks the best food. It's amazing. It's really good. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to get to working on this video. Probably record a short depending on how my voice feels. Hopefully my voice feels better and less raspy and gay. Although I'll have to, <coughs> maybe I'll have to like accentuate my voice and shit for the, uh, for the shorts, but we'll see. But yeah, man, should we answer comments? Do we have a, a few comments we should answer? Let me see. I mean, we do have a bunch of comments and I don't know if they're questions though. There might just be a bunch of, let me go to questions. Are you five foot two? Nah, I'm 5'10". Can you die when you get hit in the balls? Good question, bro. So testicular torsion, uh, you can't die. You won't die. You could lose your balls, which in turn will make you suicidal because you can't have kids and then you'll die. But other than that, you can't die. You'll be fine. Why are you calling him a black guy? Because he's black. Why is bro shirtless? Because I'm sexy. Hey, I really like your videos. What is your opinion on the martial art Aikido? Aikido is gay. I think they take it up the ass consistently. Um, yeah, Aikido is like, it doesn't work in a fight. Like, I'ma just hit you with a double leg and start smashing you in the face. There's nothing you can do about it. Aikido is gay. It's all there's to it. Hoping to see you succeed, but when are we getting some amateur fights or local event videos? So, I've made three already, all the events that I've been at, um, and I will keep making them as long as I am competing, which is gonna be for a long time. Bro, are you trying to make videos like of Sam Solix? So, close. Um, I took a lot of inspiration from Sam Solik. Uh, seeing how he's able to entertain an audience just by talking to the camera. And um, he makes good videos talking about his training and what he's doing every day to achieve his goals. And then I was like, damn, I want to do the same thing, but I have different goals. I don't want to blast steroids and, you know, not be able to breathe and shit like that. I want to show my journey to becoming the UFC champion. And no way am I shitting on Sam Sulek. I think he's fire, I think he's awesome, I would love to meet him one day, but it's just not my goals. And it's not a lot of people's goals. And to all those people who have different goals, they should have someone else who's giving them advice, showing them how, how they're doing shit, and you know what I'm saying? Like, I wanna be the Sam Sulek of MMA and the UFC and all that shit, and I am, and I will be even bigger, way bigger. Totally amazing videos, thanks bro. Could you try any two-on-one sparring or even take on someone with your hands tied up. So I probably would beat most of the kids in my gym with my hands tied up. And that's not even an understatement. And that's not even an overstatement. Like, I have all the kicks, I have the knees. So like, yeah, I'd probably win just like that. Two on one sparring, uh, it usually gets out of hand and you just like hurt one of them really badly. So I wouldn't really do that. I've done it before and I've just like almost knocked a fucking kid out. Um, but yeah, I guess that's dumb. I just need to find a better gym with better competitors at the end of the day. Why are you wearing MMA gloves against guys using 16 ounces? So those are the, the gloves that I bring. They don't have to spar with me if they don't want to, but I'm going light, I'm not hurting them, and it really doesn't matter. So yeah. I'm surprised your gym allowed you to use eight ounce gloves in sparring law. Yeah, it's fine. Bro's keeping us waiting five days, no video. Bro, I wish I didn't have to keep you waiting, but I'm just, Coughing like a motherfucker. Do you have an amateur fight? Yes, three. Not enough training. You are 16. Your body is mostly developed. You can train five to six days a week and three to five hours. And you focus way too much on your body. Focus more on running and Muay Thai or whatever. Yeah, shut up, bro. <coughs> <coughs> bro, this is the dumbest comment I have in my, in my channel. Yo, loving the videos. I'm rooting for you. You have momentum now. Momentum now. With this channel. And you're not doing normal all day school. You should be aiming to do some form of training eight hours a day. Bruh. Obviously, two times four is eight. So I could have four two-hour training sessions in the day, which, by the way, would be fucking awesome. I would love that. And that's something that we'll, we'll look into. It'll probably be a three-day split of three hours each training session. It's probably better, honestly. One in the morning, one in the midday, and one at night. But, uh, yeah, I'm sick now, so can't really train as much. And I'll try. But yeah, man, that is it for today's video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. We may or may not have a video tomorrow because I might have to go back to Katrin and do some sort of doctor's appointment shit for my uh, lower back, which kind of sucks, but we'll see what happens.
i'll let you guys know.